Hello Disney fans, this is Christian Milan again. This time we're going retro and looking at Disney Animation's Wreck-It Ralph. And this is the Sugar Rush Racer Collection. And this is, I gotta say, this is one of my favorite collections of all time. It includes these beautiful racer sets, and really Disney doesn't make a lot of these uh, kind of sets anymore. There's 12 in all of the racers, and 3 of the larger racers, and 3 of the Fix-It Felix Jr. figurines. So, I want to go into detail, and here we go. First, I'm going to talk about the star of our film. Uh, she is Vanellope von Schweetz, and she is um, sort of the the glitch that you could see in the film. And has this one comes with her candy cart. And when she made this candy cart with Wreck It Ralph, they did the, they had a lot of fun in that like mini game within a game. And you could see how detailed it is with the sprinkles and everything, and the chocolate cake uh, fudge and uh, cover look to it. And the little wafer on as a spoiler. And uh, the licorice in her hair and kind of the candy uh, also dotting kind of her her hair and everything. And I don't know why they did this, but each of their noses have like a certain different color. Um, but this is a very, very detailed. And even on her dress, you could see has that buttercup uh, wrapper look to it. And it's so detailed. Even if you look at the figure, the bottom of her feet itself looks looks like there's licorice whips kind of on the soles of her feet. And she fits really nicely into the car. This is one of the few that actually does. But this is so detailed. So the next one is uh, Taffeta and her pink lightning cart. And Taffeta looks like she was very, modeled very much after Strawberry Shortcake. Uh, very popular. And you could see on her cart itself, the, uh, the rock candy. It was supposed to be clear in the film, but uh, for the larger version, I think this was just a little bit easier to do. And um, the pop... The popsicles on uh, as rear view mirrors, which is also pretty cool. And she's number one, obviously, so she has to have number one in her cart. And just this, the the glitter on her her top hat and her as like also models out after a helmet and kind of the white hair matching her white gloves and her uh, candy cane legs. And the third in the uh, large set is Swizz, or Swizz Malarkey. Uh, she actually has a drag racer that has multicolor. Really cool. Uh, it's kind of modeled after those lollipops that you find at Disneyland that take forever to eat. Uh, but it very much looks like a drag racer lollipop stick coming out the back. And um, the only problem is she doesn't really fit too well into her cart. But uh, never mind. It's a very, very cool cart. And a very, um, I think, very tough to come by because you can don't really find her anywhere but uh, and I had to actually order this one online the next set I'm going to talk about is the Heroes Duty figurine deluxe set and the Heroes Duty along with the larger wreck ralph deluxe figures they were actually movable and they could kind of smash the wall just like the Felix uh, fix it Felix Jr. could fix it but uh, the rarer ones out of all three of them was the uh, Heroes Duty figurine which the with a metal and um, has a little the blaster at the top there, and Rich Moore, in speaking through Wreck-It Ralph, said in the film that uh, video games nowadays seem to be a lot more violent and scary. And there was an individual Vanellope, and this one actually was an error from the factory. Um, I just liked it because I signified her character being upside down and kind of being a little bit different. And now I'm going to talk about the 12 individual Sugar Rush racer sets from the Disney Store. So each individual racer comes in this little cake box package, customized in color to each character. So here we see Minty Zaki, which was John Lasseter's homage to Hayao Miyazaki, who made Howl's Moving Castle and Spirited Away, My Neighbor Totoro. So the aesthetic uh, very much is similar to kind of that Japanese style. These are like almost like these toki to tokidiki tokidiki characters and um i'm not sure if i'm saying that right but this package is green and the figurine is has a little green skirt and that minty look to it and each of these sculpts looks so beautiful the uh, the articulation of the arms just kind of move back and forth together and the legs also and each comes with a little key to, that propels the uh sugar rush racer cart candy cart forward 
And Brittany Lee developed a model for a lot of the Holly Sugar racers actually ended up looking. She was the concept design artist on Frozen, and she developed this confectionery village that all these individual racers could live in, and all the designers modeled it after that. Lorelai Bavay uh, was tasked with Vanellope von Schweetz and designing her, and she kind of wanted to look like Pippi Longstocking, kind of the wildness of her hair, the little sprinkles all over the place, and the overall, the confectionery look to her kind of gave it uh, her outcast persona and taffeta to contrast that was made of rock candy so more polished more secure in herself has a number one on the vehicle and Lorelai Bavay uh, who was responsible for a lot of the designs wanted each individual car to represent their personality so uh, even though her head looks like strawberry shortcake, shortcake very innocent her cart itself shows that she's very very kind of translucent and secure whereas uh, Vanellope is, is more messy more that Pippi Longstocking look a little bit more of an outcast and one of my favorites and actually the first one i purchased was snowana rainbow i think she was so cool just the colors and the overall design of her uh, making her look like a, a snow cone and just the outfit itself is so colorful so disco the uh, sleeves just uh, ha are that, has that shiny magenta look and the uh, skirt and the um the legs there with the uh, flowers on them. It's very, very cool, very detailed. And her cart itself meant to look like a uh, kind of where you would put the snow cone in and the wheels and the clear engine block. I really like that touch as well. Behind her are her fans on the right hand side of her packaging there. Very cool. So then we see the Swizz here, and uh, <laughs> the cart itself um, looks a little bit different from the uh, the bigger one because again, it, it's it's multicolor, um, has a little bit more detail in the multicolor quality of the lollipop, where this one is more solid, solidly colored. And then we have Candlehead. Candlehead probably is my favorite character other than Taffeta um, uh, of the bad guys, quote unquote bad guys, because she has that um, that candle and her character, she, she's a little bit whiny, but um, she's one of the henchmen of Taffeta, so she's kind of written that way. And um, the uh, I, I really like mint and chocolate chip ice cream, so that's supposed to go with the cake that she has uh, as her cart. And those uh, those burners on as candles on her car, very very innovative and kind of cool when it, when you think of the burners on the uh, r uh, drag racers themselves. And that candle is ever lit, and she is number seven. And here she looks up close. And I don't know if you could tell by the from the video, but uh, the jacket has like a chrome shiny look to it, and uh, and this and the Swiss has a very shiny, shiny jacket. And here you can see the cart. The fudge swirls on the ice cream itself. Very cool cart. And then we get into Ador Adora Beazle Winter Pop. And I don't know if you could tell that her Winter Pop fans in the back there. And this is based off that Bomb Pop that you can get from those ice cream carts. And you could clearly tell because the uh, it has the uh, Popsicle stick sticking out right outside the back. And this is a really cool, this is one of the rarer ones. I think this is one of the harder ones to come by. Um, if you were to try to buy it on the uh, secondary market, it's like 100, 150 bucks um, in good condition. And you can see uh, that red, white, and blue box. I really like this one because of that. Um, just three tone color, very simple, but uh, very effective. And her earrings and her dress and the uh, the hat itself looks like an Eskimo, but it really well matches the. Um, the cart itself and all of their their uh, their proportions just kind of has that again that toka dial look to it and the uh, dress all their dresses look like their candy wrappers too and here's king candy king candy very cool cart um with look, fits into the throne very nicely and uh andy tudyk the uh the uh, actor who plays king candy also playing as a uh, duke wesselton and um and the uh the weasel in zootopia so he's kind of like the good luck charm for Disney animation. 
And here's Rancis, the other henchman of Taffeta. Uh, R Rancis drives a kind of a buttercup looking car. And uh, this is one of the few boys that were in the movie. Him and um, Gloyd Orangebore were the only two boys that were in that set. Hard to come by the boys if you try to find them. But a very cool car nonetheless. And then we get to DiCarmelo. Uh, she was, she had the car, the number eight cart that uh, Vanellope used to catch Wreck-It Ralph. So I think um, when you look at her cart, that it has that flat surface look. Not only aerodynamic, but serves a primary function of catching Ralph right before he's gonna, about to fall in that, uh, that cola, that hot cola. And then Jubilina Bing Bing, she kind of was the spunky one of the, when they were introducing, she was jumping around when they introduced them. And here's a more detailed look at her cart. She was cherry bombed, as you can remember, in the film when they popped the uh, ice cream on her. And I, I really like how the, um, the cherry itself, it looks and merges really nicely with the, with the pie crust. And here's her up close. And there's actually a blue version of her in the film. They didn't really go into them as a character, but it's just a blueberry pie and it's a blue hair and blue dress. I don't know what the name of the, the blue version is. And here's Gloyd Orange Boar. He uh, has that Halloween look to it. I think um, in the... Um, in the art of Wreck-It Ralph, it was originally going to be a witch because it, along that 13, that Halloween uh, theme, candy corn there. But a very cool card nonetheless. And again, that box really looks cool. So that's my review and look, a uh, more detailed look at the Wrecker Ralph racer set and all the toys and the figurines it can get. Um, hope you liked it. Let me know what you thought. What was your favorite one? Please like and subscribe and we'll see you soon.